let us try to solve this problem. <coughs> Here we are given a U type of fixed rail and there is a movable rail PQ that moves on this and that that moves from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to b and then to x is equal to 2b and then comes back to x is equal to 0 with, with a uniform velocity and arm PQ possesses some resistance R okay <coughs> say resistance R now arm PQ is moved from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2b and back to x is equal to 0 with constant speed v obtain the expression of flux induced of flux induced flux induced EMF and force necessary to pull the arm and the power dissipated as joule heat show the variation of these quantities with respect to distance now if I am here okay if I am here and I pull this rod so so we will we'll plot it versus distance okay now what happens <coughs> as it is as it starts from here and starts shifting to the right what happens the area increases fine area will increase now just try to think if this is x and this is L this is X and this is L then what is the area LX it becomes a rectangle so so Let's see. Area under the magnetic field is equal to LX. Fine. Now what? So E is equal to minus n d phi upon dt what is phi phi is b into a what is a lx correct so i put this here minus n d dt of b l x b is constant l is constant it is only a which is variable so i get 1 d d t of of b l x which is nothing but minus b l d x by d t d x by d t and that is that is negative that is that is d x by d t is what it is d x by d t which is <coughs> v so I get minus B L V okay now V is a constant okay since V is a constant so E is a constant why is the same sign is negative isn't it increasing from 0 to 2 dx by dt the way we have taken dx is a positive quantity right dx is a positive the way we have taken it hmm. Hmm? and oh. I am taking this v as positive so dx by dt is v fine now what dx by dt is is this so so now it gives you a fair amount of idea of what is happening so so while I am going out from x equal to 0 to x is equal to b what do we have
from x equal to 0 to x equal to b, e is minus b l b. Oh, I better start with phi. Phi is b l x. Now, what do you think is happening to x? x is increasing, right? So, phi has to increase. So, if someone asks me to plot phi versus the distance, how do I go? If say this is x is equal to 0, fine, this is x equal to 0 and this is x is equal to b, then, then how does it go? The phi goes like this, is it not? Phi increases, <coughs> b l x, x keeps on increasing till here, fine. Beyond this point what happens? Beyond this point, though the area is increasing, the flux that is linked by this coil does not increase. Why does that not increase? Because there is no magnetic field in that region, right? So, so, so let me write for x equal to 0 to b. So, E is minus B L V. Fine. What is I? I is obviously E upon R, so that is minus B L V upon R. That is my I. Okay. What is my dissipation? What is my power dissipation? I square R. So that is B square L square V square upon R square into R. So that becomes what? It becomes b square l square v square upon r. Do we get that? Do we get that? That is my joule heating. What does it say next? What is the force? What is the force? Force is I L cross B Okay, so B into I into L, so B into I into L, B I L, which is B L into this, right, which is minus B square L square V by R. When, when the rod is moving outwards, the force will be acting inwards, right? That we can check. The, we are trying to increase the area. Okay, so, so in the outward direction, the flux is increasing. Now it will try to reduce that. So, so it will actually, actually flow. It will force a current. The induced current will be in this direction. So as to reduce this, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Now, if that is the case, just try to find out the force. It is I L cross B. So, so L is like that. B is outward, we put their tails together, I L cross B clockwise, clockwise is in, right? So the force is, is this, this is the force. And obviously so, if you are trying to increase it, it will oppose you, it will all oppose you. You are trying to take the, take the rod to the right, it will try to pull you to the left. So F is that. Now if I plot it, what happens? From x is equal to 0, okay, to x is equal to b, it increases, the flux increases. I am first plotting the flux. From x is equal to b to x is equal to 2b, it remains constant. a constant. Okay. What happens if I bring it back from 2B to B? Where? The form becomes a constant. Why? X is increasing, no? B, L, X. X will increase, no? No, where? Here. After it left, X is equal to B. After we started moving to the right of B. Why will it decrease? Flux doesn't area. But magnetic field B. No, no. It has when when the rod is here, 
is b into small b into l b b l hmm? now after this when you come here the area is say 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 this much but what is the area that has got field in it after all it is b dot a no in this area to the right of this that means that means this area which is an area but but b here is zero so this b dot a has nothing to contribute no it does not decrease it just remains constant beyond that if i denote my x to represent the 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 point till which i had the field then beyond that it it stops right so 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 nothing happens beyond this understand so so it increases till 2b it is constant now if i am supposed to plot this with versus the distance then the distance when i come back then that is another b so you can say this is not x is equal to 3b this is distance 3b here x is here here x is equal to b that means the displacement is b but distance is 3b because they have asked just to plot it with distance right so displacement is b here displacement is also 2b this is x is equal to b but distance is 3b right right and then what will happen as i start decreasing it it falls down so this the distance is 4b but here displacement is 0 we understand that now we come to so we have plotted this let us come to the induced emf now the concept of derivative comes into play the concept of derivative comes into play what happens see this is this is with respect to distance right let's try to understand if i was if i was plotting it with respect to with respect to to x then what would happen x versus t how will that look like x versus t how will that look like x versus a Hmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. Is it? D x by d t is constant, so it will have a of uh, it will have a constant slope. So it will be what? A straight line. Hmm. Hmm. But beyond this, if if I am saying that my x represents the the that length which is under which is under the which is under the magnetic field fine so so let us try to understand dx by dt graph will be something like this you understand x versus t x versus t graph will be like this right no what will be x versus t graph no dx by dt is lost <coughs> this is this has to be a constant right what has to be a constant the velocity has to be a constant 
that means the dx by dt has to be a constant that means and what is dx by dt dx by dt is nothing but the slope of the tangent in the xt plane right slope of the tangent in xt plane on the graph of xt right now if it has to remain the same dx by dt is nothing but velocity and if velocity has to remain the same it means that the curve xt curve has to be such that tangent at all its points has to remain the has to be making the same slope now it is only the straight line where it so happens that its tangent is equal to the line itself and it always remains the same you understand so what happens here is is your xt graph will look like this so that dx by dt graph will look like what it will look like this what is this what is v this is vt what is this length this length is nothing but tan theta no this length is tan theta why is why is that tan theta because dx by dt is v and dx by dt in the xt graph is nothing but the slope of the tangent and if you make tangent at any point you take a point you take its neighborhood you you connect them you'll get this line itself so a line is a tangent to itself at all points okay a line if you try to draw a tangent at any point of the line the the line itself will will be its tangent okay okay the line itself is a tangent to itself so and at every point that remains the same so at this point if i try to find out the velocity i take this point i take a point point very near to it on the curve that is the straight line join them it will be the straight line itself and tan of that angle and tan of that angle will be v so so this is nothing but tan theta you know this is nothing but tan theta so v will be something like this okay which is a constant i was trying to give you an insight into this because this is what we have done a lot in kinematics fine and this is a must if you are solving the kinematic problems okay so what happens is this what happens is this is theta hmm this is theta and if i if i look at this i see that the that the induced emf is minus blv which is a v is a constant l is a constant b is a constant so induced emf is actually a constant fine so i am now removing these graphs so i come back to plotting plotting the the emf induced emf versus versus the distance now induced emf from 0 to b we have we have this okay beyond that beyond that since there is no change in flux what happens the flux becomes a constant correct so d phi by dt becomes zero so immediately here it drops down to zero and it continues to do so to do so till this point you know till this point till this point now what happens beyond that beyond that when you you come here and start going back okay so from x is equal to b uh, sorry x is equal to b to x is equal to 0 what happens it is it is minus dx by dt 